Good morning. It's Allison Van Wig, Van Wig and Associates. I have a little bit of glare on the screen this morning, but um, I don't know if I can close that window and maybe help that glare a little bit. But it's good to see everybody this morning. Just wanted to go over some of the changes in our real estate market. Different companies are doing different things. Some of your larger companies have um, buyer programs where they will go ahead and buy the house from the seller and then say, okay, you have all cash, you can go buy your next house. So this can be good and this can be bad. It just depends on the company. But, um, you know, they're busy advertising no commission and they have a service fee. Sometimes that service fee is six or seven percent. So it's actually more. One of the best ways as a seller to protect yourself is interview three agents. If you're going to consider going the all cash route, I don't care how good it sounds. If you don't want to cost yourself money, be sure you interview so you know the choices. Some people are totally okay with giving that money away because it's a convenience for them. Other people, they don't even know they're giving that money away because they haven't interviewed agents and found out, okay, there's a different way to do this. So these programs are good for a certain reason and our programs are good for a certain reason. And be sure that you get a net sheet from the agent you're interviewing and different companies that are saying, hey, we'll give you all cash for your house because it's really about the bottom end to you and if you're okay with that money. So really, if um, your best, best way to know what you're missing is to do an interview. I've been doing this over 30 years and I want people to understand Yes, we charge a commission, what it's for, but yes, other companies have service fees. The other thing you're going to see when you do a cash out is sometimes they will say, we'll buy the house as is, but then they'll say, hey, you know what, we need, the air conditioner is 10 years old, and you're like, well, it's still working. Well, we want, we're going to charge you $7,000 for possible so we're buying the house as is, but we're going to take a service fee and we're going to charge $7,000 for the house as is because these are systems we have to replace. Whereas in a normal sale, if your air conditioning is still working and it's good for another four or five years, it's air conditioning that's still working. We don't say, oh, hey, we're going to credit the buyer this because it's still working. <laughs> so just you really want to look at that bottom line. and know your options. Then, other thing we have, so that's the seller side. We have a lot going on with the buyer side right now. Buyers beware, because some of these larger companies that are listing some of these homes are then making the buyer, once you submit your offer on our California Association of Realtors form, they are saying, oh no, this is countered out and we're not doing this. So some of these companies are not going to provide you with a transfer disclosure statement or a seller's property questionnaire. They're saying, oh, we've never lived in the home. But see, they have the disclosures from when they bought it from that seller three or four months ago, but they're not passing that along to you. So if that seller had someone that um, you know, maybe they had mold in the house. They don't have to tell you, hey, we had mold in the house and we had the drywall ripped out and replaced, but no mold remediation. They don't have to tell you that. The other thing that is in their addendum that I found very interesting is that they're automatically removing contingency. So currently in the California Association of Realtors, purchase contract, that buyer is protected for 21 days, contingency removal. And then on the 21 day, if we don't counter and shorten it, we say to the agent, the buyer's agent, hey, buyer's agent, we need your contingency removal. That buyer's agent then checks with your lender and makes sure they're good to go before they remove that contingency. Because what can happen if they don't is you lose your deposit. So some of these companies are automatically removing that up front. You back out of the deal, lose your deposit. 
Then the other thing I found very interesting in one of these addendums was that, and if this doesn't scare you, it should. And you really, really want to make sure that you have your agent representing you. In the event that the sale of the property does not close due to seller's breach of the agreement, buyer's sole remedy shall be to terminate the agreement and recover the deposit. Whoever did that, like the poor buyer is going to be in escrow to buy a property and halfway through, you know, they've gotten their inspection done, they've paid for their appraisal, they've given notice to their landlord, and guess what? This company turns around and says, oh, we've decided not to sell you the property because we have an offer that's 20,000 higher. <laughs> Read your addendums. Make sure that you are reading everything before you sign. Because if that company buys, say, say that company has 10 properties that they have bought in the Long Beach area. And like last year, we saw properties go up 10,000 a month. They, that is a hundred thousand more to them. You don't think that they would cancel those agreements and take higher offers? You bet they would. And it's like, you're not protected because agents can submit another offer in any time. And if it's higher than your offer, that gives them the right to cancel. Think about if you're selling a condo and you're moving up to a bigger home and you have the contingency in place that you find that bigger home and then you remove your contingencies on the bigger home and you think it's gonna sell because you didn't see this little thing that this company has in their um, addendum that they're giving out. And then that company cancels on you. Now you no longer have your condo over here and you don't have a house to move in either. Get an agent that you know has some experience and that you trust because right now the market is changing so fast. These companies are putting in addendums and counters really want to know what you're saying. If you have any questions, give me a call. Allison Van Wig, 562-882-1581, superbroker.com. Thanks for watching.